Hello everyone and welcome to my new video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about the harmonic phase rotation and phase angle relationship. We start with the harmonic numbers. Harmonic number H, we indicate harmonic number with H. Harmonic number refers to the individual frequency elements that comprises a composite waveform. For example, when we refer a fifth harmonic, it refers to the frequency which is 5 times to the fundamental frequency. For example, we have fundamental frequency 50 Hz, then frequency for the fifth harmonic will be 250 Hz. Same way for seventh harmonics, meaning is it is a, it refers to the frequency which is 7 times more to the fundamental frequency and that is a 350 hertz we normally refer harmonic numbers instead of frequencies for two reason because everywhere we have different fundamental frequency here we have 50 hertz in some of the places we have 60 hertz fundamental frequency in traction somewhere we use 25 hertz as a fundamental frequency in aerospace, we use 400 hertz as a fundamental frequency. So everywhere we use different frequency. In inverter or in uh, adjustable speed drive, we have from 0 to up to fundamental frequency. So, I mean, there is a lot of difference in the fundamental frequency. That is why we use harmonic numbers instead of frequencies. As I said that uh, we use uh, harmonic numbers for two reasons. The first is the use of harmonic numbers allow to simplify how we express harmonics. And the second reason for using harmonic numbers is the simplification realized in performing mathematical operation involving harmonics. Then we have odd and even number of harmonics. As uh, the name indicates, we have 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. They are odd numbers and it is known as an odd number of harmonics. Same way we have even number of harmonics. So even number 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and then it is known as an even number of harmonics. We refer 1 for fundamental component of the frequency and we use 0 for DC component or for the constant. We can see in the graph that we have DC component and that is a difference of the positive half and negative half. That is net difference of the positive as well as negative half of the cycle. Here we can see that we have slightly smaller positive half and negative half is slightly greater. So we have net difference and that is a DC component. The existence of DC component have certain adverse effect especially when we apply AC waveform with DC component to the transformer we normally design core of the transformer which operate just near to the knee point but when we apply a waveform with DC component it produces a very high DC magnetic field and then our operating point of the core shift above the knee point and then there is a very high excitation current requirement as well as uh, we have saturation of the core and then substantial increase in the losses we observe humming also so these are adverse uh, effects of the DC component exist in the AC waveform we usually look a harmonic as an integer number but some application produce the harmonics that are not integers for example electric arc furnaces are example of loads that generate non-integer harmonics arc welders can also generate non-integer harmonics but in both the cases 
once the arc stabilize the non integer harmonic mostly disappear leaving only the integer harmonics then we have sub harmonics sub harmonics have frequencies below the fundamental frequency the possibility of sub harmonics that may be because of resonance between the harmonic currents or voltage with the power system capacitance and inductance so far we have treated harmonics as a stand alone entities working to produce waveform distortion in ac voltage as well as current the approach is valid if we are looking a single phase voltage or current however in a three phase power system the harmonics of one phase have a rotational and phase angle relationship with the harmonics of the other phases in a balanced three phase electrical system the voltage and currents have a positional relationship as shown in the figure we have voltage all the three voltages are 120 degree apart and we have current which is lagging to the voltage by an angle that is phi that is displacement angle we have normal sequence of voltage that is a abc and rotation that is a counter clockwise and that we consider as a positive sequence suppose we consider the expression for the fundamental waveform of the current we know that ia1 that is a ia1 sin omega t ib1 it is equal to ib1 sin omega t minus 120 degree ic1 and that is equal to ic1 sin omega t minus 240 degree the negative or minus 120 degree and minus 240 degree indicates the current is lagging behind the voltage and we have a sequence that is abc and that is our positive sequence so if we draw a fundamental current phasor then we can have ia1 ib1 and ic1 and the sequence is known as a positive phase sequence we consider a counter clockwise rotation now if we see an expressions for third harmonics then we can see that ia3 the suffix 3 we write to indicate a third harmonics ia3 that is equal to ia3 sin 3 omega t ib3 is equal to ib3 sin 3 omega t minus 120 degree if we simplify it becomes ib3 sin 3 omega t minus 360 degree ib3 is equal to ib3 sin 3 omega t same way for ic3 ic3 that is sin 3 omega t minus 240 degree it becomes ic3 sin 3 omega t minus 720 degree and after simplification it becomes ic3 sin 3 omega t the expression for the third harmonic shows that they are in phase and they have zero displacement angle between them ia3 ib3 and ic3 we can see that there is a zero phase displacement between each other the third harmonic currents are known as a zero sequence harmonics due to the zero displacement angle between the three phases now let us check a phase diagram so all the three currents are in phase and that is why third harmonics having a zero phase sequence now let us check an expression for the fifth harmonics ia5 that is ia5 sin 5 omega t ib5 ib5 sin 5 omega t minus 120 degree it becomes ib5 sin 5 omega t minus 600 and it becomes ib5 sin 5 omega t minus 240 degree now this is a you should not 
the difference i see 5 and that is i see 5 sin 5 omega t minus 240 degree is equal to i see 5 sin 5 omega t minus 1200 degree after simplification it becomes i see 5 sin 5 omega t minus 120 degree if we check the current phasor for the fifth harmonic then it is i a 5 i c 5 and i v 5 the phase sequence of the fifth harmonic current is clockwise and opposite to that of the fundamental and that is why fifth harmonics are known as a negative sequence harmonics same way let us check an expression for the seventh harmonic i a 7 that is equal to i a 7 sin 7 omega t i b 7 that is i b 7 sin 7 omega t minus 120 degree that becomes i b 7 sin 7 omega t minus 840 degree and after simplification it becomes i b 7 sin 7 omega t minus 120 degree same way i c 7 it becomes i c 7 sin 7 omega t minus 240 degree and if we check the current phasors we have a b and c and the rotation is counter clockwise and it is exactly equal to the fundamental waveform so seventh harmonics we can say that it is a positive sequence harmonic if we check the harmonic orders versus its phase sequence so far we have considered only odd harmonics but in some of the waveform we have to consider even number of harmonics also so harmonics order so 1 4 7 10 13 16 19 all are known as a positive sequence harmonic same way 2 Fifth, eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen, twenty are negative sequence harmonic, and third and multiple of third that is known as triplets are known as zero sequence harmonic. That is three, six, ninth, twelfth, eighteenth, twenty-one, etc. The expression shown so far for harmonics have zero phase shifts with respect to fundamental, but it is not uncommon for the harmonics to have a phase angle shift with respect to the fundamental. In the diagram, fifth harmonic, but we can see that with the fundamental it has a zero phase shift. But now we can have a phase shift with fundamental also. If we check the expression. then we can see that i a 5 is equal to i a 5 sin 5 omega t minus theta so theta that is a phase shift compared to fundamental i b 5 that is i b 5 sin 5 omega t minus 120 degree minus theta i c 5 i c 5 sin 5 omega t minus 240 degree minus theta and if we check the waveform we can see the fifth harmonics and it is an phase shift with fundamental wave and that phase shift is exactly equal to theta while the phase shift angle has the effect of altering the shape of the composite waveform the phase sequence order of the harmonics is not affected so thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much